Welcome back to the Apex Motorsport. I'm Tom Tosland and here is the Goodyear tyre test for the British Touring Car Championship at Donington Park. And here are your times for the first session. Tom Chilwin was fastest, followed by Colin Turkinson. Then in third was Adam Morgan. Fourth was Dan Rowbottom. Fifth was Tom Ingram. Sixth was Ash Sutton. Seventh was Ricky Carlard. Eighth was Dal De Leon. Ninth was Rory Butcher. And tenth was Andrew Watson. Then going on to the second page, it was 11th place for Jake Hill, 12th for Mikey Doble, 13th for Dan Camish, 14th for Stephen Jelly, 15th for Dexter Patterson, 16th for Aaron Taylor Smith, 17th was Dan Lloyd, 18th was Nathan Harrison. 19th was Sam Osborne and 20th was George Gamble. And then to round it out was Nick Halstead and Nicholas Hamilton. Then on to session two, we had Tom Ingram fastest, followed by Aaron Taylor Smith with Ricky Collard in third. Fourth was Colin Turkington. Fifth was Ash Sutton. Sixth was Jake Hill. Seventh was Tom Chilton. Eighth was Dan Robottom. Ninth was Adam Morgan. And 10th was Andrew Watson. Then it was Dal De Leon. Then it, 12th was Rory Butcher, 13th was Dan Lloyd, 14th was Dan Camish, 15th was Mikey Doble, 16th was Dexter Patterson, 17th was Stephen Jelly, 18th was Sam Osborne, 19th was George Gamble and 12th was Nathan Harrison. Then to round it out it was Nicholas Hamilton and Nick Halstead. So I think one of the main questions from the test, would the Grand Prix work, layout work with these British touring cars? And it really, truly has. Down at the S's, they've really been attacking that section quite hard with them kind of going into the corner a bit sideways, then kind of collecting the inside curb to kind of hop them into one direction. And then as they're correcting, going into the second part of the S's, they collect the other set of curbs, hopping them back into the other direction. So I feel like the cars have really thrown it through there. And this whole test as a whole, has been quite like they've been really going for it the whole test the team that we've had a couple of drivers go off uh, to name a few we've got had um dan robottom go off at the s's uh who else went down nathan harris went off in the team hard car down at the s's uh i think we had as certain as well uh, go down at the s's let me just check my notes for that ladies and gentlemen um i uh we had harris um yeah, we had Sutton as well, yeah. So with that, we've had quite a few competitors throw it off along the chicane. So with that being said, this really hasn't, this has been really an opportunity for them to learn this new layout. And I feel like the drivers have been taking that to the fullest. Team Hard has some new drivers here as well with uh, Nathan Harrison and D Daryl De Leon taking part in the test as new drivers to the championship. And De, Le De Leon was really impressive with him setting a time good enough to finish in the top 11 in the standings in the second practice session. Um, Harrison had a bit more of a rough day. He was one of the drivers, as previously mentioned, who had a little uh, drive across the gravel trap at the S's. But he, and then he also had a little stoppage near the um, backside of the circuit. But to, the, to be honest, they both had a pretty strong session. But with Harrison finishing 20th out of the 22 cars in the session. Another odd thing from the test was Stephen Jelly running this uh, black bumper. So I was thinking, I didn't really see anything at the test to suggest why he was running it. So it could be potentially to do with, from race 3 at Alton Park, he did have some damage around the area of where the quick fit number plate is that are on all the cars. So he had some scrapes and bumps. So potentially it's from that and that's why he's running this. Then also, some things of note, we uh, had the first red flag was for Jake Hill. He was currently top in the session at, with just over two hours to go. But then with just two hours to go, as I'm repeating myself, um, he broke down just at the old hairpin down the bottom of the hill, having to be recovered, causing some red flags. And that was the only red flag of the first session. It was a pretty clean session, to be honest. But then with the second session, everyone just decided to break down, really, to be honest. We... Um, a funny thing I noticed, um, Collard had his fuel cap open for most of the early part of the session. We had Harrison going straight on into the chicane. I don't know why I mentioned that again. We've got um, two hour in two hour and twenty minutes to go. We had Rory Butcher stopping on circuit. Then with an hour, two hour, another red with two hour, uh, another red with one hour and fifty three minutes to go. We had Nathan Harrison stopping on circuit, and then 
we, with an hour and 17 minutes ago, we had another red flag for a short period. So that's really been it today. My overall take has been, it's been a really successful test with the cars looking fantastic on this new layout of the circuit. Really, the S's are a fantastic part for the cars to go through. They're super committed and I feel like we're going to see some crashes at some point through there because they, they are absolutely throwing it through there. If they go too wide, it's really going to end quite interestingly. So that could be a quite an interesting way. Um, in, that could be, or, let me start again. That could be quite interesting to see in August. But I feel like this is really going to be another fan favourite. Donington's a great circuit anyway for the championship on the national layout. We saw a great race here at the start of the season. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, with that being said, I feel like it's close again in the title fight. We've got Ingram, we had Ingram fastest, so that's good for him coming in. But I do know from speaking to him in Autosport, he had done some previous testing at the circuit compared to maybe the others who haven't in the touring car. But, well, actually not on the circuit, at this layout, I, I mean. But I feel like Sutton looks pretty hooked up here. His car, he looks as in one with the car as he always does. Um, Turkington's had a pretty consistent day with him finishing fourth in the first practice session and then let me just look ladies and gentlemen uh, second in the first one so the BMWs are looking quick around here but to be honest the Hyundai's have been class of the field with Chilton going fastest in the first session so this really could be a circuit that's suiting the Hyundai's coming August so we'll have to wait and see till then so I've been Tom Tosen with the Apex Motorsport and this has been the British Touring Car Goodyear Tire Test and I hope you enjoyed